lots of functionality there. We've started putting some of that in. I, I, mean, I don't want to have to duplicate all of Eclipse's functionality. But I don't like their dialog boxes either. And they don't really fit in this environment, so how do you do that? Um, what happens when you step into a system file? I get the file back. I don't know how to display it right now because it's not, um, I don't have syntax tree for it. Uh, building other targets. How do you build it and use ANT or integrate with ANT? Uh, macros in the editor. Uh, we have lots of find commands. We don't have find replace right now. It should be easy to add. Um, bio operations, you know, searching for files, things like that. Quick fix. Um, <coughs> Finding the equip, uh, Eclipse quick fix turned out to be more difficult. We're still trying to do it, but we haven't quite succeeded yet. The quick, Eclipse quick fix uh, seems to want to have the user interface there. It shouldn't, it shouldn't need it, but it did just record, show suggestions. And we don't have the Eclipse user interface, so implementing that and some of the refactorings as well becomes rather difficult. Uh, how am I going to do all this? I don't want to spend another two years. Uh, I'm going to go on to real research projects. Um, well, one of the ways we're doing this is making it open source, and I'm recruiting all of you um, to help. So it's all downloadable source works. You can get all the documentation, and I keep adding to that. Uh, everything starts there at our website. There's a tutorial that will get you in, into the bubbles um, and into the source. Um, acknowledgements, and that's it. One of the biggest problems I see in development, the things that make programming not fun for me, is the disconnect between the running application and the code. So you, you started out with the scenario that you had this little app and you wanted to change right. the color of the circle. Mm -hmm. well, what I would like to do is I'd just like to click on that blue circle and uh, select and open up a code bubble on it. Why can't I do that? No. Mm -hmm. Wildline gets to some of that, and your code's work. Um, that, however, requires looking, uh, tracking, doing full tracing. And that, that's, that's a lot of overhead in long-running applications. Oh, well, Self had a little bit of that with yeah. the morphic framework, that you could actually have the running app and navigate to the source code. But it's well, never been followed up in any other IDE that I know of. You know, well, we, you know, didn't require full tracing. The, the app, clicking on the app, yeah, that, that particular pixel could have come from lots of places. Mm -hmm. Even it might be drawn lots of times and figuring out which one you're seeing, especially if, you, if you're using um, transparency and things like that. What are you seeing? Actually, what, what's being displayed there, there, there are actually several windows on top of that that it's using the normal Java framework. So you click there, figuring out which of those windows and which of the drawing you're actually getting. It turns out to be you know, a little messy with Java, at least. Now, if you could isolate that, um, if I know the call, you know, it's fairly easy to show up the source there. Because I, I can, set, I, I can in, internally set a breakpoint and stop at that point and then continue. One of the things you can do is you can set trace points that show up in the history window. Mm -hmm. So we could do that and then just remember that location and bring up the well, What bubble do you want? You don't want the low-level drawing bubble. You want the user bubble at that point. Probably. Yeah. The user code. I should get somewhere where I can then navigate from that code bubble to the actual code that I want. Right. Of maybe, maybe, you, maybe you get search the stack files, files. Mm -hmm. and then you can you go from there. If you might need an idea, I'll have to look into it. Okay. So uh, I have a question. Uh, I I see that you've spent quite a bit of time working on the intuitive part, the main thing more intuitive. That's really great. Uh, my question is that it's totally unintuitive for me. Is how come you start from Java? Why does that work for Java? Yeah, why? That's totally, it's like the least possible uh, interactive environment you can start from and to add stuff to it. So why start from Java? I'm not I didn't want to reinvent the, the all low level environment tools. And Eclipse had them all. Mm -hmm. Parsing. But isn't, it, isn't it a burden? I mean, isn't it uh, problematic from the kinds of things you can express? Just because it's so static and so. I don't have a problem. Okay. No, I mean, from what you can. I'm trying to, you know, I also wanted to handle large, let's see if, if it can handle large systems. So I can go back to C and C, that's even worse. 
<laughs> but you know, you're talking large systems where people are actually doing what we're teaching in classes. This is, uh, as of today, being used in their introductory programming class. Luckily, I'm here, not there. Um, so, in their teaching job. But that's the other reason we want to do Python, and do some interactive languages there. Mm -hmm. Martin, do you ever get lost in your bubbles? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I just move to a new area and start over again. Mm -hmm. But the, 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 one of the things we're trying to do in providing context is to give you, get, get, provide a better sense. So it's much easier to organize what you're doing in terms of bubbles. Mm -hmm. But you have this huge space, it's very easy to start, start over. So, um, so my, I guess my less facetious question was that if you move from an from a ID that has files in some very systematic way on top of each other one, and you move to an ID where the files can be anywhere, now the spatial location and spatial relationship between the files can either mean or not mean something. So if you organize some files in a relationship to each other, uh, it can either be... Some methods. Some, some methods. Sorry. It's okay. I don't it's like an easy it. mistake to make. Uh, if you organize the methods one next to each other, it could just be because on the spur of the moment that's where they, you can put them, or it's because they have some, some sort of connection that you don't want to link them into the group. So how do you <coughs> keep track of all this? Uh, you, as a programmer, as yeah. an environment? Or? No, I have a programmer. No, I have the same problem when I mean, you just have six windows on my screen. I'm trying to put things up. They go in various places. I, have, I can remember a small number of things, and it's around. If it's on the screen, visible, just searching for it, the screen isn't that big. It's quite quick. You don't have to think, remember what you have in all these tabs, and this method is in this file, and therefore I should go to that tab, or whatnot. If it's just visually on the screen, and then you can rearrange things. You saw how easy it was to move bubbles around. So if I know I'm, I'm going to move this, I'm going to be using this a lot, I'm going to move it over where it's in the right place. Uh, eventually, you could learn the programmer's um, thing. That, that, that's what I want to do with automatic layout, is learn, you know, I always want the fields on, above, because I know where to look for them. Uh, I want things that are called to the right. <coughs> I have all those relations. So I, can, I can use that to organize the bubbles that are on display. And you, uh, there's another relation that's possible to use to You consider a scheme like a little bit like Mylan, where the stuff that hasn't been used for a while just fades away. Uh, it, t it tends to fade away off to the right. Okay. Because you always have more screen space to the, off to the um, so this is the left. Off to the left. You always have more screen space on the right. If, if you want, if you, if you, I guess you can make it work the other way too. So I, so I guess the point is, I mean, there's a show on USTV where uh, they go to the houses of people who've been accumulating stuff for decades, and it's pretty horrible. And I just was wondering if the same situation could happen to programmers. Space, uh, this is why we did the reorganization. I, I just every now and then clear out all my old bubbles, or just make it. If I want to save something, I'll make an area there, save it, and you can you can, you can create an area. And one of the I remove the area. You can remove all the bubbles in the area when you remove it as well, and you can always bring it back up again later on. And remembers it. And if you if you name it, it remembers it, and then you can bring it up by context or by date, in various ways. So it's designed so it's up to the programmer to do their own organization. We haven't tried to impose anything on them. But we've provided a lot of the hooks you need to be able to do that. That's one work. That's the way I happen to do it. You know, it's just as easy to just escape, click on a escape on a bubble, or control W on a bubble, or right click, middle click on a bubble, make it go away, and you're done with it. But that's another workflow that is kind of cyclic, right? There's a the creation phase, the construction phase. Well, if, if, if I look at the if I look at the bubble and I say I don't really don't need this, removing it makes sense. I don't well, have to, yeah, to make space you need to. Well, space, space is, I don't, I don't have to make space here. Space is easy. I have, I have an infinite space. I, was, yeah, I imagine, or I don't know, I didn't use it all that much. I don't think I can close to three hours. But, so, if it fills the screen pretty quickly, 
Uh, you know, it did the last one. I made this font size is smaller. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes were up for that. I found myself wanting two or three bottles, and those I wanted to take with, and the rest was kind of old stuff. So um, you, you can group those three bottles and then use the top bar, move the whole group to a new area. I've done that before too. That's, that's another way. If I, I know I want to keep these three bubbles, I'm going to remove everything else. I can you know, just make that a group and then right click on that in the top bar and move it over to some blank space and I can start over in that blank space with those three bubbles. So again, we, we try to provide the hooks you need to do that. And then you can go to the back previous space and move all the bubbles there. Your first, so I have a question about performance. If I remember correctly, Yeah, one of the reasons we, impl we implemented was to avoid performance problems. Um, I'm not saying I got rid of all of them, but it, it is very usable at this point. You, you saw the maximum delay, basically, coming up with the first call. First time you open a new file in Eclipse, Eclipse takes some time to do that. So, are you problems related to Eclipse as a backend? Does that introduce delays or the problems? There are, you know, I got rid of the slides of performance problems. Um, Okay, so you have various things. Um, first of all, what happens on keyboard input? I, I went through and wrote this. It's about this long, just an abstraction of what happens on keyboard input. And that includes not only, about half of that was uh, for what happens in the, in the interactive thread. The other five things that happen there are things that happen asynchronously on keyboard input. It's very complex, but we, we, you notice I could just type, it works. So that, that we've gotten down fast. Uh, graphics performance, um, <coughs> That was a real hindrance in an earlier one. Uh, we've done a number of simple things. Um, we, we don't do gradients most of the time. They, they turned out to be very expensive in the current Java. Uh, we're still spending about 20% of the time in code bubbles is drawing groups. Um, it's just it, it's, it's expensive. But we, we've gotten most of the things down. A lot of the things that do require time that involve Eclipse, for example, we're not doing background in separate threads. Background threads, thread pool. So you don't notice it as a user. Um, we've, we've done a lot of things to make it so it is performing. Uh, um, this was a very impressive demo. And uh, as I've seen you talk with, uh, like discuss with the previous person that asked, uh, you are saying, I discovered myself at one time doing this, this pattern of using for navigation. And uh, this is a tool that's supposed to be for the general developer. Uh, mm -hmm. So I was going to ask, do you try to see what are the patterns that developers use in general? Do you do any, do you do any user studies to figure out uh, how do you decide to introduce a new feature? Uh, and is it more like a Steve Jobs approach where this is the way it should be, or it's more of a democratic, we go see what people do. And it's a combination of the two. Um, any feature that I want gets in there, <laughs> the way I want it. Um, then, there are people up, <laughs> then there are people that I, I listen to and I hear enough complaints, it'll get in. And it, we, we did user studies, originally the person who was doing them left. So I don't have somebody who does user studies. Uh, I have somebody who's working on it now. Uh, we collect data on usage of this. If the user lets us, that's optional. When you start up, you can specify that. Uh, we plan to analyze this data as we get more of it and see what, where people are spending time, what navigation seems important, what, what seems complex that way. Um, it'll be anonymous, but we'll have the data and we, we can use that to figure things out. Cool. That's good because my, my, my intuition is that you're a very particular developer. Uh, so it, if you want to have a wide adoption, you have to kind of figure out what are the patterns that the others well, use. You know, we have, you know, as part of open source, there are wikis and things like in the bug, sit bug introducing system where you can request features. If I understand them, and if it's not going to take me three weeks, it might actually get in there. If I like, if I like the idea, it will definitely get in there. 
a short break to stretch our legs and let's take a